Yo, what up, dudes? Uh, in this video, I want to show you my stage 90 hard Dreadhorn Bamo farming team. All right, so I I already made one of these videos before, but with the recent changes to Bamo, this farming team for Dreadhorn is faster than ever. All right, so if you don't know what the, um, the updates to Bamo are, here it is. Let's see. Okay, here we go. All right. Oops, what happened? Wait, what happened to my playback? Oh, it's right here. Okay, it's right here. Okay. Okay, so okay, whatever. Okay. So Bamo. Let's see. Okay, but the Bamo Dragon is going to tame his explosive temper somewhat. So they decrease his stats on normal difficulty and the temp stage of heart. And the chance of his, of his passive skill that stun a player's team will be halved. And on top of that, Bamo will take more damage from bomb debuffs. So, this is very important. He take more damage from bomb debuff. So, if you don't know, the team that I'm running right now. Oops. Okay, let's let let's keep playing. The team that I'm running right now, utilize a very 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 high resistance. Oh, what wait, what happened? Okay, let's play. It. Okay, so if you don't know, the team that I'm running right now. Utilize a very very high resistance duchess and with a multiple champions on the team with a deflection set and When we're at the boss, we utilize the deflection set set to deflect the bombs back to bomb mode. So yeah, so deflection set have a 20% chance of deflecting a debuff back to the enemy so when Bamo try to put the burn or his bombs on us we can reflect some of the bombs back on him and since he takes more damage now, this team that farms Bamo down easily is so much, so much better. All right. Yeah. So let's see. When he uses this skill that remove all our buffs and put a bomb on us, that is when we will see the big numbers of bombs. So, so on this team, the touches is very, very high resistance. And then we have uh, three champions on the team, uh, Siffy. Uh, Dragstar and Volga in deflection set because, because like what, yeah, they're they're in deflection bit set because I don't actually need them to take a turn. What they can do are already included in their passive, right? A Siffy for the eighty resistant aura to give to my Duchess and passive healing. That uh, that look look at that six bombs on him when he uses this skill. Look at that. All right. Yeah, so it's a lot of bombs. Very, very fast. So as I as as I was mentioning before, uh I mentioned it before. Siffy has a passive healing that heal the rest of my team. Dragstar, I am just you using him just for his uh, burn debuffs. Dragstar is uh replaceable by anyone. And then we have the um, and then we have a Volgoth. Volgoth is just uh is there to soak up the damage and Give AOE heal back to my entire team to keep the team alive. So, and then um, I those can be any wave clearer, as long as they do uh, damage and they're able to clear the first wave and the second wave very fast. Yeah, so and uh, that's their role completely, uh, com uh completely re replay uh, replace the So right now you you might be wondering, yo Boomer, how much resistance Duchess do I need? All right, all right, fam. I got you. So if you go back to one of my old videos, I have this chart up. Of um, I have this chart up that tells you the chance that you have the the chance that you have to resist the bombs, depending on the Duchess or champion. Uh, uh, depending on the resistance of, of your champion. So let's say if your champion have nine hundred resistance, you have ninety five point seventeen percent chance of resisting. Resisting any uh, debuff from the bomb mode. and uh, if it, if it's like eight fifty, then you have a eighty nine percent chance of resisting. So you can take a so this graph will help you to uh, decide what how much resistance you want to get versus you know yeah uh versus you know how often you get the bombs on you. So 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 let uh, uh, let me show you my team. So Duchess here, as you can see, 764 resistance. And um with the 80 aura, 
from from Sifi, she will have 850. So about 50. So for me, for my Duchess, for example, she will have a 89% chance of resisting any bombs. But uh, so she's in um Swift Parry right now. Wait, how come this thing is not going strong? Okay, okay. It it's showing up now. So but and it's a plus four. So I was able to get a lot of resistance, right? Because of the extra stats and also faction guardian. So the easiest build is just to give your Duchess six resistance piece. Because like, you know, us two resistance piece give a 46 more resistance, 40 from the set bonus, and then um six from lore steel, which is super helpful. So if you don't have a plus four duchess, a regular duchess with um three set of resistance set work just as well and then uh, let me show you the rest of the champion we have Sifi here deflection set stats does not matter at all does not matter at all as long as you can survive a little bit that's fine Ithos Savage and then uh, Dragstar doesn't really matter what he's in as long as he have uh, some accuracy to land his burn that's it and then Volgoth okay Volgoth deflection again Nothing is needed other than HP so then he stay alive and heal the entire team Masteries are not needed for anyone other than Duchess, you know for the more 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 resistance and for And for your wave clearer to do a little bit more damage. So actually, right? I recorded these clips not be like not for this video I rec if you I'm not sure if you can see it, see it but uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, do you see now? Bamo Savage Ithos. I was actually testing the difference of um, Savage Ithos versus Ithos in deflection set. Because uh, I was thinking, uh, Ithos have so much AoE already. And he spent those AoE so often. He will, he will probably take down the wave pretty quickly as well so i was ac actually testing by myself to see if um you know if at the boss during the boss if um savage idol will provide more or the deflection idols will provide um will provide um you know better time on my farm so these are all this so in case you want to build this team and uh and and you want to test out something this is the stats that i got for my for my testing of course i can't show you my secret spreadsheet but i can show you part of it Let's see okay okay here we go okay these are the stats that i have so for savage ithos right eight runs on average about 60 turns and um 145 seconds so that's uh about two minute and 15 seconds and then the deflection idols, the time I get is almost 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So, if you, so like, yeah, so, if you decide whether to use a, a deflesh, deflection damage dealer or savage damage dealer, I got you fam. You always want to go with a savage damage dealer for Bamo, at least. Alright, that will conclude this video. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, before I say that, right, this team that I'm testing right now I, as i mentioned before it's uh about two minute 15 second two minute 15 second on average i have not had a single fail yet so if you decide to okay like of course this is a farming team it's not it's not for progression and you need deflection set right which you can get from um instead of crafting swift parrot you can definitely uh craft this set or you play Platinum Arena, and then you have like some of these uh, de uh, deflections lying around. You can definitely just throw it on like some random champion, bring them into Bamo, insanely fast farm. All right, that's it for me, baby. I'll see you guys until next time. If there's a next time, until then, bye.